During the summer, Ferrari stole a march on their rivals by ways of innovation on the power unit side. But this has caused some controversy, especially when it comes to the legality of this issue. So in today's video, I'm going to try and explain in the best way I can, what is this Ferrari battery system and why is it such an issue? After the first three or four races, it was clear that Ferrari made improvements to their engine and were doing something quite different to improve their speed. But what was it exactly? Well, to be honest, not even now, no one truly knows. It is still quite a mystery as to what Ferrari are actually doing. But there are a couple of rumours. The big belief is that Ferrari have two batteries on their power unit. One for the MGUH and one for the MGUK. This is allowing them to save more energy. And to use more power boosts down the straights. Especially towards the end of a straight. There's also been rumours of a loud electrical noise coming from that car. A possible hint as to what they are doing. And then there's other rumours about what they're possibly doing to the fuel and the oil. But again, nothing is confirmed. And after Ferrari brought their Spec 2 power unit to the Canadian Grand Prix, they continued to use this innovation. And it clearly did work. As it was now giving them a half a second boost down the straights. Nobody quite knew how they were doing it. But as ever in F1, people caught on to what they were doing. Namely Mercedes and James Allison, who raised the issue of legality to the FIA and wanted the governing body to monitor it, which is exactly what they did. The first time they monitored it was at Baku, and continued to the Spanish and Monaco Grand Prix. But by the time we came to Monte Carlo, Ferrari were found to be doing nothing wrong, and were thus cleared by the FIA. But after Ferrari kept improving on the power unit side, they decided to monitor it again. This time as the European season was coming to a close, and ever since then, this advantage of theirs is now completely gone. Absolutely nowhere to be seen. As it's rumoured because the FIA have special sensors on the power unit, Ferrari are now not using all the power they have. Which is why they are now falling behind Mercedes in terms of pace. And it's another contributing factor as to why they're not going to win the world championship. Sad times for Ferrari. Now I believe guys that this is the rule they may have broken. The energy output rule. Energy output of the battery overall must not exceed 4 megajoules. And the output of the MGUK must not exceed 120 kilowatts. Slash 163 horsepower. Now again we don't know exactly what they are doing. So we don't know for sure if they've actually broke the rules. But if the FIA have deemed that they have... This is the only one I can find that they may have broken, but it is still quite a grey area. And guys, you can tell the difference since they stopped using this battery. These are the five races right before the summer break, at France, Austria, Silverstone, Hockenheim and Hungary. They had one race win and one pole position, with 8 podiums and 146 points. Then look at the five races after the summer break. At Spa, Monza, Singapore, Russia and Suzuka. Again, one race win and one pole position. That race win and pole position though was when they were still using that battery. And there you can see the drop off in podiums and points. With only 4 podiums and 125 points. They have quite clearly dropped off. And are not as quick as they were a couple of months ago. So where do Ferrari go from here? Well, for the rest of 2018, they're going to be soundly beaten by Mercedes, who all around just have a much better car. Maybe Ferrari can get one race win, but I just don't see it. And when it comes to this whole battery issue on the power unit, well, they're going to have to redesign this for 2019, because it's clear the FIA have had a quiet word with Ferrari to say this is not legal, and that you have to make changes to this side of your power unit. So I think Ferrari definitely have work to do. Also, I think the FIA needs to clean up any grey areas when it comes to the rules regarding power units. So loopholes are not found by any of the teams, not just Ferrari. But quite clearly for the prancing horse, this was the final blow in their title bid. As they're about to concede both championships very soon. In a bad end to 2018. So there you go guys, hopefully I did explain it in the easiest way possible. 
it was quite complicated, I have to say. It is a very technical issue, one that has rumbled on for quite a few months. I will say, though, I don't like to see innovation being stopped. If they found a new way of doing things when it comes to the power units, then why stop them? But as we've seen over the years, the FIA hates innovation, so this is not exactly a surprise. Eventually, they were going to come down on this, and pretty much they have, and it has led to Ferrari's demise. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Thursday with a preview for the 2018 United States Grand Prix. Also, don't forget to join my Discord, link below down in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think about this Ferrari battery issue. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me, Chazzer HD. goodbye.